The Super Identity Project brings together a selection of academics from across the country um, in combination with academics from the US as well and we're all united in trying to understand identity and identification. The reason why this is important now is because identity is moving at such a fast pace because technology is allowing us the opportunity to represent ourselves not just in a physical world but also in an online or in a cyber world. At the University of Leicester we're doing the cyber psychology element and what that entails is looking at online identity and how that translates to the offline world. We're looking at issues such as secrets and lies and where people are more likely to say secrets and serious lies. We're looking at password choice and the sorts of people who are more likely to choose secure passwords and insecure passwords and ultimately what this is really looking at is how this feeds into the model and looking at what we might actually know about people's identity online and what we might be able to predict about people's behaviours in the online world. Another set of really interesting studies that we're doing is around the ethics and social acceptability which is very important in this area and we're working with 15 to 19 year olds over a two year period carrying out workshops with them on a monthly basis looking at different elements of identification and identity and finding out what's socially acceptable um, for people to take in these measures. I'm an anatomist and a forensic anthropologist and so therefore my research is very much in human identification and also in the use of biometrics in human identification, largely for the purposes of police investigations and of course that work also ends up in the courtroom. So we're very conscious of the mechanisms whereby biometrics can be transferred into evidence that is admissible for the courtroom. So although my part in the Super ID project is very much in the biometric side, trying to find that connection over into the digital side is incredibly important. And there are likely to be a number of anatomical pathways that we haven't yet considered that may introduce that link and allow us to make that terribly important bridge. The work that we're doing at Kent, uh, contributing towards the Super Identity Project, is looking at biometric characteristics. So taking a whole range of biometric modalities, extracting features, and then trying to discover the links between other biometric measures, but also properties of personality, properties of cyber behaviour, uh, and properties of personality as well. So I and my team's focus on the Super Identity Project is on the construction of the overarching model, the model that brings together all of these different ways in which we expose our identities and, and our, our psychologies online and offline. And ultimately, it is this computational model that's going to enable people to use super identity. Uh, our role on the project is to develop a a piece of software that's going to allow uh, investigators from law enforcement organizations or members of the public even to explore all the different facets of identity that the, the project is, um, is, is measuring. So this piece of software will use some, some new and exciting visual metaphors to depict the relationships between uh, facets of identity and really allow people to understand uh, how we can go from uh, one or a small number of, of known elements of identity uh, through these pathways in the model to discover unknown elements of identity. As its legal advisor, it's my job to see that at the conclusion of the project, it is legally usable from the point of view of data protection, privacy, freedom of information, etc. So along the way, we're advising the project team with advice, for example, on the evidential issues of submitting biometric and cyber evidence into the project. We critically have to get an understanding that is modern, is current and is future-proofed as well. An understanding of who we are in, in the physical space, who we are in the cyberspace and how we can use one to help our understanding of the other.